you talk to yourself. Scientists believe there are huge benefits to listening to ourselves talk. When you hear yourself saying something out loud, it has a different impact on your brain compared to reading or just thinking. This habit is connected to being humbler, coping better emotionally, and being more capable of weighing decisions in different perspectives. So, if you like to talk to yourself and voice your agendas clearly, this indicates you as a person with higher emotional intelligence. Aw shucks. You keep a handwritten journal. Maybe you're too shy to talk to yourself out loud, but you love to write down all your thoughts and feelings in a journal. Journaling is a very therapeutic way to keep your mind clear, raise focus and emotional intelligence. Having your emotions and thoughts written on a piece of paper can help you see your own inner world and other people more clearly. Also, writing by hand helps to learn faster and better memorize new information, because brain regions associated with learning are more active when the task is completed by hand, as opposed to typed on a keyboard. You love music. Learning to sing or play any musical instrument improves brain functioning and can raise IQ by 7 or more points. Listening to instrumental music is also proven to have a positive effect on your emotional intelligence and release the hormone of happiness, dopamine. Classical music helps clarify thinking and makes tasks like studying and working a lot more enjoyable. You complain respectfully. You're not lazy to speak up in a respectful way anytime you notice something isn't right. These conversations may happen at your workplace, outdoors, or even at home in your close circle. While it may seem that you simply enjoy complaining, it shows that you're aware and mindful of your environment. You realize the impact negative things can have on other people and not just yourself. This makes you feel like you need to raise a complaint. Your involvement shows that you're responsible enough to take a leadership role and prevent disaster before it occurs. Self-control is your middle name. <laughs> what were your parents thinking? Nah, just kidding. Can you easily leave the table before you overeat? Being able to resist temptations and patience are the signs of higher intelligence, especially among teenagers. People who are smarter than average have greater self-control, especially concerning their diet. They know how to manage emotions and impulses to avoid any harm and also tend to work on resolving issues that bother them. In fact, self-control is one of the keys to a healthy and mature lifestyle. You bite your nails. Nail biting is not only a sign of anxiety, but also of perfectionism. Scientists have found that soothing habits like biting your nails and picking your skin are actually about your inner dissatisfaction. People who have extreme perfectionist tendencies are actually more aware and have high standards, which may be linked to higher intelligence. On the contrary, people who are not intelligent enough to notice that situation could be improved don't bother that much and live their simple lives without nail biting. You enjoy being alone. If you don't need to socialize all the time to enjoy life and feel complete, it's a sign of high emotional intelligence. On the contrary, you like to be alone with your thoughts and ideas from time to time. Your own agenda is interesting and satisfying enough, so you never feel afraid of missing out when you're not attending social events. You also might tend to have few close friends and guard your personal boundaries very clearly and you respect other people's privacy just as your own. You realize your limits. You might have noticed that the more intelligent someone is, the less this person tends to claim to know everything. The psychological Dunning-Kruger effect suggests that people who have lower ability often overestimate themselves. At the same time, people with higher intelligence neither underestimate nor overestimate their abilities and stay open to learning new things. You chew gum. Chewing gum appears to be directly linked to performing better in tests and memory tasks. It raises awareness, which can help you stay focused for longer on tasks that require continuous monitoring and improve concentration in visual memory tasks. Chewing gum every day may increase your memory and attention, but if your gum contains sugar, you're at risk of developing dental cavities. On the contrary, chewing sugar-free gum will stimulate production of saliva, which is good for your oral health. You are a good dancer. This trait refers to kinesthetic intelligence, or in other words, you are body smart. It means that you are more connected to your body's motor functions and have higher coordination. Dance activities improve brain function, boost memory, reduce stress, increase levels of the happiness hormone serotonin, 
and help develop new neural connections, especially those involved in long-term memory and spatial recognition. So, the next time you go to a dance studio, keep in mind that your hobby is not only beautiful, but also good for your brain. You have a straight spine. Correct posture ensures the correct interaction of the central and autonomic nervous systems. This creates the right conditions for the development of bodily, emotional, and cognitive intelligence. It gives the feeling of inner force and makes you feel comfortable in your own body. You probably enjoy sitting up straight on hard surfaces or on backless chairs without any struggles. Also, you can handle standing up straight for a long time. Correct posture is usually either a natural gift or the result of regular yoga practice, martial arts, massage, or Pilates. You sleep enough and have vivid dreams. You perceive sleep as one of your duties and don't neglect this natural need. And it is wise because sleeping too little or too much has a negative impact on our cognitive ability, while getting just enough sleep helps to keep a high IQ, control impulses, and be more aware. This also refers to vivid dreams. The dreaming process helps the brain to improve learning skills, visualization, memory, and creative abilities. It can also give a person the chance to rehearse a difficult situation in advance, cope with fears, and even make a creative breakthrough. Many scientists, authors, and musicians saw ideas for their masterpieces while asleep. Mendeleev saw a complete visualization of his periodic table of chemical elements. Stephanie Meyer wrote her bestseller book, Twilight, after she saw a vivid romantic dream about the love story between a young woman and a vampire. Paul McCartney claims that he heard one of the most popular songs by the Beatles, Let It Be, in a dream and wrote it down after waking up. So keep your notebooks and pens closer to the bed. Perhaps a life-changing idea will visit you this night. You only have a few friends. Smarter people are believed to be more independent. In the past, Humans needed to be in larger groups to hunt and solve problems together. But nowadays, we're less dependent, especially highly intelligent people who can solve their problems on their own. That's why you have fewer friends and smaller social circles and care more about the quality of these connections. Your romantic life could be better. Although people often say they want an intelligent partner, a survey reveals that this desirable perfect partner's IQ should not exceed 120. People with higher cognitive intelligence tend to raise concerns about social skills and compatibility. Now, this doesn't mean that intelligent people are necessarily bad at socializing. It just reveals that people might have these doubts before deciding on a date with you. At the same time, people find emotional intelligence a bit more attractive than cognitive one because it fills relationships with empathy and acceptance. So, if your IQ is high but dating life could be better, Perhaps it's time to use your brilliant research skills to explore your emotionality a little bit more carefully. Unless you aren't interested, of course, there are so many unread books and undiscovered mysteries waiting for you anyway. You ask silly questions. Highly intelligent people like to read, that's a fact. But being intelligent is not only about having the ability to consume information, it's about having curiosity about other people, cultures, animals, history, and the world in general. If you're not afraid to ask silly questions like who, what, when, where, how, why, and what if, you're probably smarter than your fellows who are sure they already know everything about the universe. You don't settle for half-truths and keep questioning everything and therefore pushing progress in this world.